I wonder if you remember that only a few years ago, before we had those, 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 and those, we had those and those, and well, they were not the best. And that meant if you wanted to have good and smooth FPV video, you had to use one of those. Yup, it's a gimbal, a cheap two-axis gimbal that around 2015-2016 you were able to buy for like a hundred bucks from China. Originally they were designed to be carried by the DJI Phantom, but if you were creative enough you were able to put them on any drone you wanted. I found this one a few weeks ago in one of the boxes together with the Runcam HD camera, not even the HD2, the first generation Runcams. The question is, are those things worth anything as seven years later? Let's find out, because I put this thing on my cine lifter and went flying. Honestly, you know what? It's not that bad. Yeah, sure, the modern GoPro with the proper stabilization will have a nicer and smoother picture. But if we remember that those things were super popular seven years ago, we cannot really expect too much. Camera itself is well okay. Yes, it lacks the dynamic range and you can see it. It lacks on the color, but it's the HD without much of the problems. And the gimbal itself, it's also doable doing its job. Because it's only two axis gimbal, you can see that the yaw is not really very smooth. You have to remember that this is solid mounted to the drone, there is no damping, no rubber, it's just some 3D printed elements holding everything together. And if you look carefully and compare this to the GoPro Stabilist or Gyroflow Stabilist footage, you will notice that, well, the gimbal after all works in a slightly different way. Maybe it's only me, but I do prefer the proper gimbal Stabilist image than the stabilization from the sensor itself. It looks kinda, well, better to some extent. It's big, it's heavy, but it works. However, I can guarantee that it will not survive any single crash. PLA will break, aluminum parts will bend and everything will just spontaneously disassemble itself. It's heavy, it's shaky, it messes the tune, however, it looks cool and works kinda cool as well. Hmm, maybe I should put the DJI HD camera on the gimbal? That would be interesting. If you would like to know more about the camera gimbals, here's the video for you. In the meantime, I'm Paweł Spychalski, thank you very much for watching and, like always, happy flying!